Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How's everything? Was fine. No, I mean, that's cool. Everything is fine. All right, I mean, that's, that's, that's perfect. How's everything by that area? Is it raining there? Yeah, it's raining. Yeah, but it's not that hard, is it? No, not really. Not really? No, no. Hace, Hace media hora, sí. O hace una hora, más o menos. Sí, llovió hasta cangrejo. <laughs> en serio. Mm. Algo así. No, I mean, but... The good thing is that you didn't have problems with the internet or something like that, right? That's the good yeah. thing. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty nice. Sí se trabó un poquito, pero yo creo que sobrevivo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least you can survive. I mean, that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's perfect. All right, that's nice. Okay, uh, so uh, basically we're going to continue with part of the things that we were discussing, you know, like uh, last class that you remember uh, we were practicing the uses of have to and need to. So today we will continue with those things, right? We will, you know, like try to uh, continue with uh, the exercises, especially the ones from the platform uh, and uh, some other ones that are in the manual so we have you know like some things to do uh we're gonna have a, also a short review about you know like the main structures that we were you know like missing yesterday uh also we're gonna be practicing you know like questions and answers using half to and need to. Uh, so we have a, uh, you know, like food, uh, you know, like, like class with practice and all those things. So I'm just loading the attendance list just to start with, you know, like the main class. Give me one second. Okay, I'm just gonna start with this. Okay, cool. So it's fully loaded. So I'm gonna start with, uh, you know, like the attendance list. Abel Edenilson. Abel, no here. Okay, good. Let's move. Alexandra Michel. I think she's on the way home. No, I am. Vale, camino todavía. Okay, Alexandra. Ah, Bania Raquel. No, es Bania, Bania. No, here. Okay. Let's continue. Cristian Mauricio. Never Christian. Eduard Armando. Eduard. All right, he's not here. Eric Enrique. Okay, Never Eric. Eric Fernando. Neither is here. Jose Mauricio. Present. Now, okay, perfect. Julissa Jamilet. Present, bitch. Mm, okay, good. Carla Daniela. Present. Okay. Kelly Joanna. No here. Okay. Lea Berenice. No, I mean, she says she's on the way home. Liliana Alejandra. 
No sé, si está ahí. Mario Eduardo. Present teacher. No, ok, good. Let's move Marvin Edenilson. Present. Ah, ok, good. Noé Vladimir. Present. No, ok, perfect. Rosa del Carmen. Rosa. Ah, ok. She says present. Ruth Guadalupe. Present, teacher. No, ok, perfect. Uh, Verónica Lisset. Verónica. All right, she's not here. Wilber Ernesto. No, okay. no here. And we got the last one, Ana Patricia. Right. I am, and you're there? Okay, good. I thought you were not there. Okay, there are a few people are getting connected tonight. So probably they are going to get connected, you know, like throughout the, uh, the class time. Okay, good. So as I said yesterday, we were practicing a very interesting topic, which was basically related, you know, like to uh, Bania. You want to say something, Bania? Aquí estoy, teacher. Creo que me mencionó y ah, sí, <laughs> iba entrando, no sé. perdón. Sí, 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 ok. No se preocupe, ahorita lo agrego. Perfect. Okay, as I was saying, basically we are going to uh, continue with the topic that we were discussing yesterday. Do you guys remember what was the topic that we were discussing yesterday? What was it? Let me see. When I start out with those things. The use of uh, need to and have to. Ah, okay, all right. Have to and need to. Good. So one, let's put it in here. Have to. All right, and in here we wanna put need to. Cool. When do we use have to? Ah, by the way, in this case, remember it can be have to or third person has to. And in here we can say need to and in third person needs to. All right. When do we use have to? Let's start with that. When do we use have to? Or what do we use have to for? According to what we were discussing yesterday. De acuerdo a lo que estuvimos discutiendo ayer, ¿en qué situaciones yo uso have to? ¿O para qué lo utilizo? To use it to express obligate. To obligate or to show obligation? Marvin? To express obligations. Ah, okay, very good. To express obligation. Or certainty. Okay, or certainty. So, but basically, uh, like yesterday we were discussing, basically and mostly the uses of have to as obligation, right? To express an obligation. All right, very good. If you remember the structure, it was pretty simple, right? Like the subject then have to or has to must main verb plus complement. That was like the main structure that we were practicing yesterday. So it means that if I write sentences like, for example, I have to teach English at 8 p.m. For me now, this is an obligation, right? Because I have, you know, like an active module with you guys. So every single night from Monday to Friday, from 8 to 10, so I have the obligation to teach you English. So as a student, what is your obligation? I mean, you can say, 
we have to practice English. We have to pay attention, right? That's another one very important thing. Uh, you can say we have to mm, what? Turn on the camera. All right. That was another one, right? That was another one. That in a somehow is an obligation for you guys. Okay. Good. Now. <laughs> now, what other obligations do you La have? La indirecta, bien directa. Something like that, right? I'll get to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What other obligations do you guys have as a student? Can you mention some of your obligations as students in this module? Make and the exercise on the platform. Huh? Make the exercise on the platform. Now, nah, okay, cool. You can say, I have to do the exercises in the platform. Okay. Very good. What else? What else, people? Que mas? We have to be punctual. <laughs> okay. We have to be punctual. Very good. What else? It's part of your responsibility. My... We have to do the homework. Uh, okay, cool. If I let you homework, all right, you can say we have to do the homework. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's another one very important, actually, right? If you do really want to test, you know, like the exam, I mean, the, the, the module, you have to do the homework and the exams. I am in, by the way, remember, by tomorrow we will be finishing the week number two. So by tomorrow, you need, up, you need to do the homework until number 10, right? From number six until number 10. Keep that on mind, okay? All right, good. So this is like, you know, like parts of your obligations as a students. Good. But like what happened if you're talking about the obligations of a classmate? How can we talk about that? For example, look, let's talk about Jose Mauricio's obligations. Can you mention one obligation that you have to do, Mauricio? In your work, for example. What is your obligation in your work? One of your obligations in your work. Seria. Uh -huh. uh, eh... I don't know how to say it. Contestar llamadas. Answer the phone. Okay. So, I can say, look. He has to answer answer the phone. Okay. Or, well, you know, like answer phone calls. Or I can even write it down with the proper now. For example, Mauricio has to answer the phone. All right, good. That's one obligation of Mauricio, right? So another one. For example, I can say Abel has to wake up early. Okay, another one, Ruth has to take 
the bus on time right so that's like another example why am i putting this as an obligation people because in a somehow for you it's part of your obligation every single day if you start working at 7 a.m so by consequence you have to wake up very early in the morning right especially if you live in san salvador where everything is so tiring everything is so 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 a waste of time on traffic on uh, getting some uh, somewhere else you know especially when there are accidents in there that is very common by the way there always <laughs> the same problems yeah i mean living in san salvador is a very complicated life sometimes <laughs> but anyways you know like I have to get accustomed to things like that. Good. So in that way, this is like, you know, like like what we have to do in order to talk about obligations. All right. This is like the way that we have to do to speak about, you know, like those type of things. Now, taking apart the obligations, now we can start with, you know, like the necessities of something. Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. Good. Now, taking, you know, like in consideration the uses of obligations and all those things, now we're going to talk about need to. Need to, if you remember, expresses necessity. When we use the structure need to, it's when we express the necessity of doing something. All right, good. Now, what is a necessity that you might have, people, in that case? For example, in my case, I can say, I need to, listen up, I need to buy another cell phone. Because my old cell phone is getting damaged. All right. The cell phone I have is damaged. So, in a somehow, I need to buy a new cell phone, a different cell phone. So, in this case, it's not an obligation, right? Because I can live without a cell phone, but it's a necessity in a somehow. Why is it a necessity? Because I need the cell phone to get in touch with my family, to get communicated with my students, you know, from my workplace and everything. So in a somehow, this is a necessity, no obligation, but a necessity, right? So this is like the way how we can use need to. What can be another necessity that we can mention, people? You as a student, what is like the necessity that you think that you might have? So that you I might need, need to uh -huh. the internet. Uh, okay, we can put it like this. Look, I need to have a good internet. Have internet. <laughs> uh -huh. To have a good internet. There you go. Okay, good. That's one necessity. Very good. What else? What else do we need? I need to take a cup of coffee every morning. <laughs> okay, good. Very yeah, important. I mean, that, that's a necessity, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's not an really? obligation, right? It's not an obligation because she is not obligated to do that every morning, but she has created the necessity to do that every single day, right? Because like me, I think Carla is getting addicted to the caffeine to survive during the day. <laughs> yeah. That's good, man. That's good. All right. So I can say, or you can say, I need to drink a cup of coffee every day. All right. Oh, we can say every morning. Better. 
every morning, right? Okay, good, good. Any other one? Just give me one more. One more necessity that you consider that it's like something necessary for you, right? And that you need, that you need to cover, that you need to do. Somebody else? I need to have a cell phone or a computer for my English class. Yeah. I need to have? A cell phone or a computer for my English class. Ah, okay, very good. I need, but vamos a ponerle en tercera persona. Let's put it in third person, that one. How come? I can say, let me see. Okay, I can say Marvin in third person, right? Marvin needs, why needs with S? Because this is a third person, remember, that's why we modified the verb. Needs to have a computer or cell phone to get connected to a class, all right? There you go. So that we have it like that, right? So in this case, that is a necessity for you guys. Why? Because, I mean, since you decided like to, to, to subscribe, you know, like to get the inscription to the module, it's because you got those uh, tools, you know, to have the class. So in that case, this is like in a somehow a necessity, as you were saying. Good. So this is like the way how you know like we can establish this type of structures using have to to show obligation and need to to show a necessity what are going to be the you know like the main parts that we're going to be focusing today all right yesterday if you remember we were talking about positive statements using have to and need to but today we will continue with that and we also we're going to create a short feedback and we will introduce question form using have to and need to All right vamos a poner un poco entonces cómo crear preguntas utilizando have to and need to utilizando también las ws words also we're going to practice those things in the manual okay so we're going to do that in the manual Okay, good. Now, let's move on. Uh, by the way, I'm reading the messages that you have been sending to to the group. Algunos todavía no llegan a casa, otros, uh, you know, like, they got problems. All right. Uh, no, no, no. Carla, is that you? The, word, the, 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 the one that appears like Danny? No. I don't know. Mm, isn't it you like like the one that is saying it? Like, who, who is it? who is this person? Ve por la cámara se me traba mucho la clase. Ah, sí, sí, fui yo. Ya me das cuenta. Yeah. Se me está trabando mucho. Le escucho bien cortado, por eso ni le entendí. Ah, okay, okay. All right, no problem. Yeah, I mean, I I I understand that. There is a lot of inconvenience by that area because it is it is raining yet. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna show the presentation that we're gonna have tonight. So just give me one second. I'm just gonna put this, you know, like just for you to get acquaintance to the um, scripture and uh, those things. Give me one second. We need this to do an extra practice later on. Yeah, this is the one. All right, this is the presentation. Okay, cool. So this is the presentation that we have for tonight. Remember, today is the August 11th, and uh, we're gonna continue with have to and need to, but we're gonna do a short practice or a general practice from from this one. Okay, like you know, like the main the main topic. All right, that's cool. What is the most relevant that we have for the rest of the class? 
All right. We had the review from the previous topic. So that's what we did right before uh, we started the presentation. Then we're going to continue, you know, like we have to and need to again. We're going to do a practice. We're going to do some exercises in the manual. And that's pretty much what we have. Let's just start over. Look at this. Have to or has to. These are just extra examples, okay? This is like just extra examples that we are just going to read them. Noe, help me reading this one. Okay. I have to finish my homework. Ah, okay, very good. I have to finish my homework. Okay, cool. And somehow, this is an obligation for you, right? So we, that's why we put it like this. Good. Uh, 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 Patricia, read this. And you have to check your email. Okay, you have to check your email. No sé qué traveseado. What happened? <laughs> okay. Esta música nos pusieron ya, right? Music. <laughs> okay, good. Sí, Alexandra, está bonita, pero no podemos continuar con la musiquita o, o no nos suben el video a YouTube. <laughs> Derecho de autor. All right, you have to check your email. So that's another uh, way to show an obligation, you know, uh, especially in those type of jobs in which it's very required to check the email, especially if you have clients to attend, right? So that's why. Like in the case of Mauricio, Mauricio has to answer phone calls because he, I mean, that's part of his job. Right, Mauricio? Uh, no le entendí, perdón. <laughs> no, es que es parte de su trabajo recibir llamadas, hacer llamadas para cobrarle a los clientes. No, no le cobro. ¿Ah? No, yo no soy de cobro. Eh, ah, soy de créditos. Aprueba ah, y rechaza. Ah, usted es el que los aprueba. No, es que alguien, alguien, sí. alguien había mencionado que era quien cobraba. Solo que no recuerdo. Julisa. ¿Y si Julisa? Ah, Julisa. Yes, teacher. Ah, qué bonito. ¿eh? Mauricio los aprueba bien amable y Julisa llega bien amable a cobrarle. Así es. No, no, no. no. <ríe> ok, good. No, Yulisa ya debe estar preparada psicológicamente. Like, you know, like, nice. Right, Yulisa? Oh, yeah. Tiene que estar bien preparada psicológicamente, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ay, Me tomo una Coca-Cola antes de, de cobrarle a cada cliente. Ah, bueno. <laughs> Qué buena manera de iniciar. <laughs> ok. I would prefer coffee in that case. All right. So let's go. No, me gusta el café, teacher. Ah, sí, verdad. Esa es la que íbamos a sacar de la clase el otro día por decir esas cosas. Ya me acordé. <laughs> okay, good. Ruth, let me read in this one, Ruth. Who has to prepare to new material? All right, she has to prepare the new material. So that one is like related to those companies in which they work with raw material, right? Okay, very good. So let's continue, people. Here we are reading Marvin. Hello? Help me out reading the last example. He has to go to the meeting. Okay, very good. Okay, now somehow this is like a way how to express an obligation, right? Good. Now, let's move. Ahora bien, vamos a ver un poco el uso de have to in questions. Okay, in questions. And let's start with the structure. Check this out, people. This is the structure that we need to create questions using have to. All 
Okay, let's copy that thing and then we're gonna continue. Try to copy that. Teacher. Yes. This WH word is the same that WH question. Yeah, it's it's the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is the same. Okay, let me know when you finish copying that thing and we can start watching and reading the examples. Okay. I guess you have already finished. So let's move on with the examples. Check this out. So we have explicitly here a question for using the structure. Uh, let me see who can help me out reading this thing. Abel, help me out reading, Abel. Okay. Where do you have to eat at lunch. Okay, very good. Where do you have to eat at lunch? I mean, the answer, check this out. Uh, Liliana, let me read the answer. I have to eat in a restaurant at lunch. At lunch. Okay, there you go. I had to eat right in a restaurant at lunch so basically this is the structure how we can create questions using all right in a somehow have to or has to depending on what you're gonna you know like talk about if it is a third person remembering the answer should be has to okay Yes, yes, that's a question and the answer. Oh. The first one is the question. The second one is the oh, answer to the question. Okay, okay, thanks. All right? Okay, good. We got another one. Ruth, ayúdame a leer por cierto. <laughs> no, pues es que hay que aprovechar. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. What time does he have to be at home? Okay, very good. What time does he have to be at home? ¿A qué horas tiene right, el que estar en casa? All right, good. Julissa? Hola. Three dancers. He has, he has to be at home at mm -hmm. 7 p.m. Okay, good. Thank you. He has to be at home at 7 p.m. Okay, good. So this is the way, people, how we can create questions using this structure. Si ve, básicamente, al momento de crear una pregunta, right, justamente, no sé nada. Justamente después del subject, ustedes tienen que colocar la estructura. En este caso, have to. Right? Y recuerden, después de la estructura have to, es donde nosotros, nosotros nomar, normalmente colocamos el verbo principal. En este caso, eh, la primera pregunta es it. Right? And in the second one is be. All right. Good. Until here, people, did you have any question? Tenemos alguna duda, alguna pregunta hasta acá? Algo que nos quede el todo claro. Yo, teacher. All right, Noé, go on. El verbo auxiliar siempre va a ser do. Sí, el verbo auxiliar siempre va a ser do. 
la estructura simplemente va después del subject, pero el verbo auxiliar siempre va a ser do, right? O das en tercera persona. Ok, okay? gracias. Yes. En ese caso, sí, muy buena pregunta. Eh, no puede ser la estructura, porque entonces incurriría a crear otro tipo de estructura, no precisamente el presente simple. Ok. All right. Good. So this is like the way how we create those type of questions. Any other doubt? ¿Alguna otra duda? No. Okay. All right. You know, like, like the, the best way to recognize if you understand this topic is by creating examples, right? La mejor manera de poder interpretar si ustedes van comprendiendo de buena manera es nada más proveyéndome ejemplos. Podrían crearme un ejemplo usando cualquier WS word. Recuerden que la WS word se refiere a what, what time, where, when, who, which, why, right? Those structures. Create one question in which, you know, like, you have to tell me. In which you have to tell me this structure. Apparently, I have problems with the internet 